Justin McLeod lived a lonely existence, far from the eyes of a prying world. Charles Norstadt was living in a virtual world and looking to make some new friends. You guys ever seen him? Who, oh, McLeod? He'll only let you see him in person. What's the point of doing anything if you can't post a photo? He's untaggable. What are you doing here? Why weren't you at the church bazaar yesterday? I wasn't invited. Well, sure you were. Everybody was. There was a group invite on Facebook. I don't have a Facebook. I could help you register. No. I don't think you can. Buckethead. This is the way it works. We hang out in person, face to face. Do you like him? Does he like you? I don't know what he likes. How am I supposed to know? Have a good look, because you won't see this on the internet. Why can't I just type it? Writing sucks. I want you to look up 10 alternatives for the term to suck. Fine, I'll Google it. You ain't Googling doodly squat! We don't get many live specimens here at the castle, do we, Norstad? Hey, Chuck! You ever wonder why men and women are attracted to each other? It's called sex, Norstad. You won't find that on Facebook. Why don't you just sign up? We just want to know why you're spending so much time with the boy in person. Just send him a message on Facebook. By God, we're friends in real life! What are you hiding? Is it this? Is this what you see? Well, if this is all you see, then you don't see me. You can't see me. Once in a while, a friend request comes along that will change your life forever. I'm a genius! I wrote with a pen! On paper! <laughs> Mel Gibson. No, he's not my friend on Facebook. He's my friend in real life. The Man Without a Facebook.